But going from one match to the other here, we got Team PCB, Team Bella, and Team Bad. In a three-team elimination match, no Diva set on the line, just a standard triple threat tag team match where not everyone has to be eliminated, only one person from each team. The remaining team is the victor. So, Arden, I'll start with you here. Which team do you see coming out on top, Team PCB, Team Bella, or Team Bad? Hmm, this is a good one. I was thinking about this one, too. I'm going to go with Team Bella. I'm going to go with Team Bella in this one because it feels as if, like, I don't know, it feels like momentum with them lately has been dying out a bit. Like, it's not the same. Like, I was watching Raw Monday, and their music came on, and there was barely any reaction. It <laughs> yeah. feels as if, like, the reaction and the focus goes towards the new girls that are coming in now. And I felt like, with Team Bella, they can use that one in order to remind people that they're still you know, on top of the division. So I'm going with Team Bella. I gotta go with Team PCB. I agree with you that they have not, you know, they've been trying to do everything in their power, and successfully so, they've done it very well to establish the likes of Sasha and Becky and Charlotte. And in doing so, they've kind of taken the luster, kind of taken the spotlight off of the Bellas, which is good. I mean, the, the spotlight's been on them for the last couple of years, I know. Um, but, you know, before that, though, or, you know, or since, you know, the, the whole Divas Revolution, as they're calling it, has started, they've not really been the central focus of Raw. I mean, she lost on Monday. She lost yesterday to Sasha Banks in non-title action. Nick Bell it is. She got tapped out by Charlotte two weeks ago, which really has not been mentioned all that much since then. Um, but I think they are probably, I mean, they have to be, building to Nikki Bella, ending the streak of AJ Lee, breaking the record come September. And at Night of Champions, they'll probably do her versus Banks and or Sar Charlotte, probably just Charlotte one-on-one, -on -one, if not a triple threat. So, um, Team Bella winning here won't really change anything because Nikki Bella is still the Divas champion regardless. So I'd probably have to go with Team Bad or Team PCB. Probably in this case, Team PCB. Banks won last night on Raw. Charlotte might win for her team just so she can get that title shot at Night of Champions. So Mike, who do you see going over in this contest? Team PCB, the Bellas, or Team Bad? Um, I agree with you. Like, uh, Nikki Bad, if the Bellas lose, it's not going to her momentum like too much um, you know Nikki's not going to lose the title same thing she's going to they're going to give it to her uh, until she breaks AJ Lee's streak which I think you know after SummerSlam I think if she gets the night as champion she'll already have broken it um, so I say I'm going to go with the I don't even know who's on what team but the team of uh, Paige Charlotte that, I think that team's going to win um, they got too much talent, too much good up and coming, um, you know, girls, Paige, Charlotte, Sasha, Becky Lynch, they're going to run the Divas division for the next 10, you know, 10, 15 years, hopefully. Um, you know, but like I said, this, not that the Bellas are bad. I think their age range ability has gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, but they're kind of at the end of their run, I feel like. I think this whole Divas revolution is going to aim more towards the, the NXT girls. Um, you know, when, yeah, I, I, I could definitely see within the next year the Bellas kind of taking more of a back seat. Hopefully, hopefully it's a changing of the guard in the next couple of months with uh, with Becky, Charlotte, and, and Sasha Banks kind of stepping up and, and becoming the kind of cornerstones of the division in the years to come. 